tips that will make you so happy about that. Easy tips that will make your get togethers a little less stressful. So you want to get organized so that when people are coming over, you're set and ready to go and you can have some fun at your party. Well, that's the point. I think somehow we've gotten away from actually enjoying the parties and making it all about like what's happening and what, how everything looks and what, what the right. presentation is. And for me, like I love parties. I love these different collections of people of my friends that I have and yeah. what happens when they get together. So I want to actually sit and watch and partake and I don't want to be fussing. Yeah. So I have it. I love throwing parties. I have it down to a, a system. Okay. As I do. Yes, yes, I'm <laughs> um, not surprised. So when they're coming in and it's, you know, snowy boots, I love my little cheap, inexpensive, big box, under $5 mat. Yep. And then what I do is I go get the greens. Oh. And you layer them on top of your mat. Oh. And why it, this is even better is that, it, aside from hiding the rubber mat, is that the wetness from your boot will drip through, so it's keeping the greens wet, moist, which is what's going to keep it around longer. Yeah. But also, when you pick your boot up, it's it's been erased from the water, so it's nice and dry, so oh, you can walk away. Oh, a good idea. Yeah, yes. that's simple, but it's very smart. Yeah, and it looks good. And mm. then I have my coat rack set up, maybe at the top yeah. of the stairs, somewhere out of the way. But people are coming with other things, right? They're coming with their purse, and yes. maybe their hat and mitts, or a sweater underneath. Yeah. And to make sure it doesn't get lost, we all, I think, have these purse bags and shoe bags. Yeah. So that's what I do. I just put it on a hanger. Every hanger will have one of these bags. So when you hang up your coat, you can put your hat and mitts in there, your purse. Yes. And everything kind of stays together. Or do the low budget version. Use a grocery bag. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to use things I already had. Yes. We should no, be having I grocery it. bags anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, if you do, use those. <laughs> so then <laughs> setting up the bar in my kitchen sink, I'll load it up with the beers and the ciders and everything like that. Yeah. And then I just dump in my ice. I love that bucket. Yeah. That's and then great. just leave it. Yeah. And I don't need to, I have a big sink. I don't need to, it's not going to work. I don't yeah, need yeah. to replenish it. So I can just let it drain into the sink. People can get their own. Yeah. I've got a great little mat with the cloth dried off in the opener. Oh, that's cute. And so that is what, you know, they can just yeah. manage. Because again, I want to go have fun. I don't want to be fussing and replenishing. Yep. Go get your own drink. And then the, the wine. So I'll have, <laughs> again, cases of white and red. I try and do a screw top because that's another just so thing. Much so much easier. And you're seeing a lot of them. It's not anything about the wine. Yeah. And just glasses are stacked up. And that's maybe a one hour tour, just making sure that the wine, I have to pull out anything more yeah. for the glasses. Again, simple and easy. Right. And I think everybody these days is nice and mature and aware of what they're, you know, they're taking transit and aware of how much they intake. So yes. an eye on that, but I think we've moved into a mature place. I agree. So it's not so yeah, no crazy. One, no yeah. one's, you yeah. don't want to be taking those chances. You yes. want to have fun, have a good time, and then make sure someone else is doing the driving. Yes, and I was also a bartender for a thousand years, yes. so I'm not doing <laughs> any mixed drinks. I am, it's wine, I don't blame it's you, girl. beer and ciders, and then that is it. Yeah. Same thing with the food. When the food is out, I'm not going back. Nothing's getting heated. I don't want to mm -hmm. replenish any mm -hmm. of that. And then, as you leave on your way out, I have a table set up, and I have some snacks and some water, and so people can take that with them on their way and just you know, fill their bellies a little bit, just fill it with them, um, tie it up with some ribbon, and it's yeah. awfully nice, and then you, you feel a little bit more, and people will take a couple. That is so good. Uh, do you have anything um, to say about the shoes or no shoes rule? Absolutely shoes. They're a part of your outfit. Okay. <laughs> so then, so you feel strongly yes, about this. That's why I have the mat, the mat set up. Okay. And if you want to happen to forget your Louboutins when you go home and wear <laughs> your boots, that's okay too. <laughs> yes, you can leave them behind. Yes. Okay, so you come there in the boots, you change into the shoes, and it's all good. Absolutely. I love that. Okay, these are all the tips you need to uh, host a really good, easy holiday party.